Hey everyone, welcome back. In this PyTest tutorial, we are going to learn how you can group your PyTest test cases into different groups. Now, why do grouping of test cases is important in the software testing and the test automation? Now, even if you are doing the manual testing, you usually group your test cases into different buckets. Say, for example, you have a test suite which is only required after you get a new build so you have the sanity uh, test you have the smoke test you have the regression test and these are all different buckets or different groups or test suites that you create in automation you do the similar thing and you tag your test case or you mark your test case in the pi test to have a group of test cases so that you want to if you want to run smoke test after any particular build you have the group or the mark test or the tag test in the pi test which you can run quickly using the tag so let's understand how you can achieve that so say for example these are your three different test cases in one particular test underscore login.py file right and there are multiple test cases as well so these are three methods or three tests in one of the test case and there could be n number of test files within your test automation suite so if we go to the pi test so i will simply go to pi test help and i'll show you that what pi test provides us in order to mark our test case or group our test case right so pi test provides this hyphen m and mark expression okay so what this does is we can use the pi test there is a decorator or, or uh, annotation you can say if you're coming from the java background in python we call it either uh, annotation or uh, decorator to mark the specific test cases into uh, with a particular keyword right and that keyword we can use to execute those tagged keywords so when we say when we use mark then we can specify this hyphen m and specify the mark expression right when we are doing this command line execution when we say pi test hyphen m we can specify the mark expression whichever expression we are going to mark our test case with to run those test cases now let go let's go back and see how we can mark our test case so we have the decorator that starts with at the rate and we simply say pi test and say dot and mark okay before that you have to import this pi test right so import pi test so that's what you have to do if you just hover over you will see that import pi test you can do directly from here or just write this line in each of the file or the test file that you are trying to use this pi test dot mark and then i can specify any custom mark there okay so say for example i want to mark these test cases as sanity all right so this is the custom marker that i have used now if i will execute the test case now let me put this marker in some of the other test cases as well i'll open this add items and I, in the add items i have already put in there in the test log off let me remove it and put it in the test login right so if i will now execute the test case with the marker sanity then only two test cases should get executed the first one from this test underscore add items file and the second one is from the this particular test underscore login which is test calculation test right rest all the files we haven't done any of the marking so they will get ignored so now in the command line let me clear it and say for example now i want to run the test right so we know that to run the test cases with a specific mark we need to have this argument hyphen m and then provide the marker so we know that we have tagged our test cases with the name or the tag as sanity so i'll just provide the expression mark expression sanity in there and hit enter so now what okay so the problem is because i am in this particular location so i have to go to the location where my test cases are right so you have to remember that before you execute it we have to basically go to the project location so we'll copy the path copy the absolute path change the directory there so we'll say cd and go to this path and now from here if i say pi test hyphen m and the sanity the marker that we have used and hit enter it should execute two of the test cases right two of them are passed 10 deselected and the warnings right so the warning summary if you see that here it will say that it is a is it a typo you can register custom marks to avoid this warning so we'll understand about these later but as of now you just understand that the markers how to use the markers what are markers and how you can tag 
tag your test cases using the markers okay so if i want to have the verbose description as well there so i can say hyphen v and then marker so it will give me a detail here there so you'll see test login and test calculation from these two files have been passed and then 10 have been deselected right so this is the relevance of marker in pytest and how you can tag your test cases using marker in order to tag the test cases and say for example you have the sanity testing suite that need to be executed you just mark your test cases with this marker and quickly you can run by in from the command line using just hyphen m and providing the marker that you have specified now this is the word that you can provide anything i can say for example i want to tag this particular test case as a regression test case so i'll say simply pytest dot mark dot regression okay and then if i will try to execute the regression test here i simply have to say instead of sanity i simply have to say regression right and it will execute just one of the test case here 11 will be deselected you can see that one of it has been passed now these are the custom markers right so these are the custom markers which we can implement or we we can put in our files according to the needs of the test cases now there are built-in markers as well in the pytest so if we go to the documentation here and simply search for the markers We'll see what all built-in markers are there and i would recommend going to this working with the custom marker this is the tutorial which will give you a deeper understanding what markers are and how you can use them so here you can see that you can use the mark uh, you can mark a test function with a custom metadata like this so that's what we have already learned right so pytest.mark dot whatever name i want to specify and then there are the built-in markers as well okay so in order to get the built-in markers what we need to do is we need to simply say for example here if i say pytest and then say uh, double hyphen and then say marker markers and you will see that these are some of the built-in markers right so if i want to skip a particular test case or x fail a particular test case these are the built-in markers that i can use in my test case so there will be many times wherein say for example you want to skip a particular test case right so that we can use a built-in marker so we can say at pytest dot mark dot skip right so there are there is skip and skip if so skip if will check for a particular condition skip will straight away skip this particular test all right and then there is other which is x fail so say for example there is a condition wherein you want to fail a particular test case right so you can specifically mark the method or the test as x fail okay so let me just copy this and here i can simply say mark dot x fail okay and if you go to the details here x fail what it does is it will mark the test function as an expected failure so say for example you have written test case but the functionality for the test case is not yet implemented so if functionality is not implemented definitely the test case is going to fail but you do not want your report to look bad because of that particular failure so what you want to do is you want to mark it as an x fail that you are expecting this particular test case to fail if you want to skip a test function with any of the optional reason or you want to skip the test case if for example there are certain test cases you want to skip on a particular platform you can mark those test cases as skip so pytest.mark.skip so that's what the x fail and skip will help you to do that right so here if i'll say test calculation one just to change the name uh, avoid the same name right and now if i go to the command prompt and try to run so simply if i'll just, just say pytest you will see that it will pick all the files there okay and then there will be 11 passed and one skipped and one is x passed right so why it is x passed because we used x failed and the actual condition in the test passed so it will show as the x passed let me put the verbose there so that we can see more details there okay so you can see this is the test calculation one wherein we use the marker x fail and this is not reported so all of them are either passed or failed but this one is marked as x pass and the other one which is in the test login has been skipped and it is unconditional skipped because we do not want to execute this particular test right now say for example i want to fail this so this will be more clear when say for example i use x fail and in this case i am asserting that 2 plus 2 is 5 which will fail the particular test 
and run it again. Let's see what will appear. So you can see that it hasn't been marked as a fail in my test case because I have used the marker as X fail. Now what this will bring an advantage is that in my report, it won't be reported as a failure in my final report. And that's what the benefit of marking the test case or the method is as X fail is. Similarly, if I want to skip a particular test case, I can mark it as dot skip, pytest.mark.skip and it will be marked as a skip test case. Okay. If I do not mark this particular test as X fail and run this particular suite, you will see that the test case will be reported as failure and say for example this particular functionality has not been yet implemented then this test case is always going to fail and in my report it will appear that this test case has failed when we know that this functionality is not yet implemented so it's better that for that particular test case we will simply go ahead and mark it as x fail and then run the particular suite so once all the test cases are run, now the report will look exactly fine. Okay, so these are some of the tips and tricks how you can group your test cases, what is the relevance of the skipping a test case or marking the test case as X fail. So all these things you will be very frequently using in the test automation. So that's why I wanted to cover a little bit in detail about the markers and how you can group your test cases using the markers in PyTest. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.